I'm no further along now than I was when I graduated. Well, don't most our professors say it takes like seven to ten years to get established? Well, yeah, but until I pay my rent, loans, food, gas, and every other stupid thing that costs money, I'm stuck. To me, the thing that I find interesting about No Footing is that it really is sort of exactly the story of what young art students go through. I haven't really seen that many films like that. It's a wonderful independent film with really polished technique. Uh, it really tells its story in a very crisp way, and it's very character driven. And what we have is a character of a, a young woman graduating and getting out in the world and starting a career, and that's really a classic story. It is a movie made by people who exemplify the very subject of the movie. The people who made the movie are themselves aspiring artists who are trying to reconcile the need to make a living and the desire to live a life of purpose and passion. And I think that endows it with a certain magic and also is the source of its extraordinary power, the passion and the artistry that pervade the movie. So many students go through this, so many art students, um, and even, even non-art students. Upon graduation, you wonder, where am I supposed to go from here? Leaving your home versus staying and sticking it out, I mean, it's a question that every single student has and graduate has. You have lots of people at various stages in their life that are having to revisit this question. Who am I? What do I believe in? What do I want to do with my time? What is my life going to be about? And that isn't just a young person's story. I don't think this film is limited to 20-year-olds. I think this is a film that you could show to almost any age group. This is a movie that deals with timeless themes in a very topical, timely way. When No Footing screened at the Down Beach uh, Film Festival, uh, it was received uh, very well by a very diverse audience that not only was it connecting with its target audience, but I noticed that people that were the age of the parents of young people like that, they were connecting just as much to the film. And I just like that it's very realistic, like it's not this fake Hollywood story of, I woke up and someone said, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful, here's tons of money. That's not how the world works. Do you work for an ad agency or something? No, actually I work at the copy shop around the corner. Oh. Um, so you still do art and such? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's nice. I stopped doing that after high school. Yeah, me too. Yeah. R really? Why? Oh, I got a real job. We received No Footing as a submission to the Project 21 Film and Animation Festival, now the Philly Film and Animation Festival, and it received unanimous selection for screening, and our judges loved it too, which is why it actually won our festival. The winner of the best film, the Philadelphia Film is No Footing. This is a film that needs to be seen because maybe the rest of the world doesn't realize the struggle that artists have. It's carrying its message through the brilliance of the acting. And Jensen Booker, who is the lead role in the film, wonderful actress, uh, brought so much charisma and sin sincerity. Uh, she brought so much warmth and, and honesty to her role. Some of the most affecting moments for me were when she was in her personal studio and she would sometimes look at that picture of Charles Wilson Peale, the self-portrait, to remind her of her dream. It was sort of like a compass point for her. I really love the sequence in the art museum and we get to see why she's so passionate. And whether your career is in engineering or the sciences or art or whatever it is, we all came to our careers with some kind of passion. And that one moment in the art museum, uh, it reminds whoever you are why you're so passionate about what you do. And it kind of says to you, that's not foolish. Don't give that up. Hang in there. That's important. And I think, you know, for the students that I showed the film to, that definitely resonates for them. But it also, you know, I, I got goosebumps watching that. You know, in a depressed economy or a good economy or really anywhere, sometimes it's tough to be an artist. And I think that message came through and really hit home with a lot of our audience as well. No footing deserves to be out there because it's appealing to a broad audience with a fun and entertaining message 
that has meaning, that has depth to it. And I think the potential in terms of getting out just to a general audience is huge. It tells a classic story and it asks eternal questions about the, the value of our work. Well, I call this a zeitgeist movie, a time spirit movie, because I really think that it captures the essence of what's happening now, today. Not only among young people, but people in general. And this is a movie that addresses that question and implicitly encourages people not to abandon their dreams, not to give up on their hopes to continue to strive for that kind of life of purpose and passion that makes living ultimately worthwhile. I really just believe in it and I think it's so unique and it would be foolish to not see it and it would be foolish to not distribute it and let the entire world see it. There are too many Hollywood remakes and sequels out there but there's nothing like No Footing.